is adopted. An impeachment inquiry is going forward after the U.S. House of Representatives passed that resolution along party lines last night, 221-212, with House Republicans voting unanimously in favor of it. In a statement, President Biden, though, fired back, calling the already three-month-long investigation a, quote, baseless political stunt. With the Iowa caucus just one month away, this latest impeachment inquiry is piling on to an already tumultuous 2024 campaign season for the incumbent, President Joe Biden. Much of the focus of the people behind the inquiry on the life and finances of the president's son, Hunter. Hunter Biden did show up on Capitol Hill yesterday, actually ready to answer questions in public, but is defying a Republican Samina for a closed door deposition. Republicans do not want an open process where Americans can see their tactics, expose their baseless inquiry, or hear what I have to say. Republicans say the formal impeachment inquiry gives them more power to force Hunter Biden and other officials to produce documents and answer questions on their terms. Meanwhile, Democrats are blasting the inquiry as an attempt to just damage President Biden. We think it'll help us get those, those key individuals in to, to speak to us in a more timely fashion. The leader of this is Donald Trump. We are doing and going through this process because Donald Trump wants to get reelected to President of the United States. The White House issued a lengthy statement in response to this House vote, accusing Republicans of wasting time when Congress should be passing aid for Ukraine and Israel, addressing border security, and funding the government. Idaho Congressman Russ Fulcher released a statement about his vote in favor of Biden's impeachment inquiry, saying, quote, House Resolution 918 will give House Republicans the chance to enforce subpoenas in court, given the reluctance thus far. The Biden family believes they are above the law, and that is not the case, end quote.